Uh, what time is it, Kyle? In fact, well, Mark, I believe it's 7:34. Although this clock says it's oh no, it's 7:34 on this clock as well. Thank you very much. Our uh, tech guy, uh, Cash Savlock, is here this morning. How morning. you doing, Cash? Doing very well. Lots to talk about this morning. You know, it's that time of the year. A lot of break-ins happening because yes. the weather's been so nice. Coming up in just a little bit, we're going to show you after the break how this clock can keep you and your home safe. Right after the break, stay with us. You're watching Technologic. BT. Technologic. Technologic. Technology. 7.37, good morning. Uh, great start to the day. Dawn's got your full forecast coming up here in just a second. We're back here on Breakfast Television with one of my favorite segments. Uh, time to talk technology with our gadget guy, Cash Stablock. How you doing? Excellent. Yourself? Good. You've got a ton of stuff. Let's yep. get right to right them. Right to it. I talked about this clock being able to protect your home. What do you mean by that? This is part of a package. This is Logitech's Y-Life Home Security System. Now, this is completely plug and play in the true sense. It comes with a software, a control unit, and one extra camera. You install the software on your computer, hook it up to a USB port, plug it into a regular wall outlet, plug the camera. Now, I've got a camera on the back wall here. You just plug that into a regular wall outlet, and you're done. Now, you're this is the other ca the camera that you've got plugged into the wall right exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. Here. And that just plugs into a regular wall outlet, so you're not having to run wiring all over your house. You don't have to worry about uh, wireless or anything like that. And the other camera is in one of these little dots on the y clock as yes, well. Yeah, so that's your stealth camera. Got a little nanny cam if you want to. And they come up here on your uh, laptop computer. It comes on your laptop computer. It is also accessible. It uh, Wildlife has a system where it's set up for, for their website where you can go anywhere in the world and view your cameras at home. Dirk, give us a wave. This is Dirk, our floor director. This is the camera that's shooting us right now. How much would this go for, this whole system? The base unit with one camera and the software and everything is $389, and extra cameras are about uh, 280 to 320 each, depending. You can even get an outdoor camera, too, that's weather resistant. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, iPhone technology. This is pretty cool here. Yeah, this is Belkin's iTrip, and what they've done here is they've, they've changed things a little bit up where they've got a uh, system here. This plugs into your, your cigarette adapter, your 12 volt adapter in your car. Now, I don't know who uses it for a cigarette anymore, but this base here will actually rotate. So if you want to watch movies while you're driving, backseat of course, right? Yes, that's not a good thing to be driving and watching. No, movie. no. And also what it does, it finds the weakest FM station on the in the area automatically and programs it into here. Plus, if a phone call comes in, it now becomes your hands-free speakerphone. So it is, there is safety to it. And not too expensive either, 89 bucks. 89 bucks, okay. yeah. Okay, moving on here, more iPhone technology. Yeah, so I've got this hooked up. This is the uh, Timex Iron Man iConnect. So I've got, a, I've got an extra speaker hooked up here, but now your control for your stereo is right in your phone, uh, in, your, uh, in your watch. In your watch. Yeah, oops. Don't break it, I can't. <laughs> <in the drawer. laughs> no, here we go. So you hit play on the watch. I hit play on the watch. And it should. Murphy's Law, of course. It of should course, go yeah. through here. Yeah. Anyway, this goes for 99 bucks. It works. Yeah, it's it, all the uh -huh. control. You can you can fast forward. You can adjust the volume. Everything on okay. here. There you go. Uh, you were taking uh, my photograph and Thor's photograph in one of the commercial breaks just a second ago. That goes with this device here. Yeah. So what I've done is I've taken your photograph here, and this is the Dell Wasabi printer. And this is a portable printer. It's rechargeable, battery powered. Plus, you can also do it through Bluetooth. I've got it hooked up to a PicBridge camera here. So most new cameras have a PicBridge capability, where you don't even need the computer anymore. And what I'm going to do is while you're holding that, I'm just going to hit start, and uh, watch your hand. It's going to come up right there. So what's going to happen is it takes about 30 seconds, but you're going to get a two by three print right from the camera into the, the printer itself. Just like that? Just like that. How much would this be? The printer itself is about $189, and the prints themselves, you get about uh, 15 prints for about 20 bucks. 15 prints for about 20 bucks. Yeah. So it's coming through. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'll let it come through. I got something cool to show you okay. here as well. This is the USB cell. So this is basically a double A battery. Okay, and it's a rechargeable battery, but the easiest way to recharge this thing is the lid comes off and it's a USB plug. Oh, so it plugs into any sneaky. standard, yeah, it just plugs into any standard USB port. There's lights on the side here to show you that it's charging or not charging and when it's fully charged. Ten bucks, pretty good deal. Ten bucks for two batteries. Hey, okay, yeah. take a look. This photograph's coming out right now. Thor, how cool is this? This is the two of us. Just wow. like that, an instant Whoa. photograph taken. Wallet size story. Literally, just a few <laughs> moments. All right, Cash, let's really quickly go through this last thing you've got down here. This is Samsung's True Direct DVD drive. It is, and I'm just going to turn around here. So it's got connections here for USB. On the front side here, just look like a standard DVD player for your computer. You know that a lot of the new netbooks don't have a, a DVD player in them. You can use it for that. But this one has LightScribe built in. So you burn your DVD just regularly. You use a LightScribe uh, DVD or CD. When you put it in, you turn it upside down into the unit, and the same laser that 
that burnt your disc now will burn your, burn your label. Oh, okay. So any photo, I've got a little CTV, a City TV and the uh, Breakfast Television logo on here, and you can basically do anything you want with it. And how much is this? The drive itself is $99, and the discs are, there's a bit of a premium. They're about 20 cents more than regular discs, but saves you time in printing a label or even writing it with, <laughs> with a marker. So. The things technology can do for us these days. Akash, thanks for coming in. Always good to see you. Thank you. More information on Akash's website and nowyouknow.net. Michelle? And now you know, please let us know about traffic. Okay, well, you know what that little picture you have on the counter there? Yes. If you give that to me, then you don't ever have to get me a gift again. I That's really all it do. takes. All I need is a Kyle and Thor picture in my wallet, and I'm a happy <laughs> And you're set for life. Hey, yeah. Do you want one for yeah. your desk as well? I would, and my desk, too. That'd be great. We'll yeah. sign it for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe one for my fridge, too. All right. <laughs> now Here you're getting go. too picky. <laughs> all right, let's get it.